Canada has long had just extraordinary relationships with California, uh, like-minded in so many ways, and we've been able to, under your leadership and predecessors, uh, really deepen and concretize that in ways when, indeed, sometimes we've seen uh, the rest of the United States uh, uh, not be as aligned with Canada on uh, many different things. Um, I want to highlight uh, the team I'm here with, including uh, my Minister of uh, Climate Change and the Environment, uh, Stephen Gilbo. Um, it's Stephen's birthday today, and he asked me what he wanted for her birthday, his birthday. I said, how about a memorandum of understanding and agreement with California? He said, that would be awesome, boss. So, uh, also joined by my amazing diplomatic team, uh, our ambassador to the United States, Kirsten Hillman, uh, and our two consul generals to, uh, to, uh, Cal to California, uh, both uh, San Francisco and uh, LA in uh, Rana Sarkar and uh, Zeb Sheikh. Um, you know, the governor spoke a little bit about uh, all the ways uh, the world is being challenged right now around climate. Uh, we have all in Canada watched uh, horrific images of wildfires and challenging droughts that you've faced here, while at the same time Canada has been going through many of the same things. We had devastating, devastating wildfires and heat waves last year uh, that saw the destruction uh, of uh, an entire community in our, uh, uh, in our, uh, in our uh, provincial interior in British Columbia. We saw uh, floods a few months later uh, wipe out major infrastructures and highways. Uh, we've seen extreme weather events across the country, and we know that, yes, there's a lot we can do in Canada, but Canada alone cannot solve this problem for Canadians. We need to work with everyone to solve the problems of the world. And that's why, over the past years, we have been leaning forward as much as possible, either at the, uh, the COP uh, uh, conventions to move forward on global pushes on putting prices on pollution, uh, or more directly recognizing the unbelievable role that subnational governments and municipalities have to play in fighting climate change and bringing citizens along. And we've seen it over the years, where uh, a federal government is unwilling or because of log jams, and in this case, uh, Republican interference, unable to actually move forward on the kind of climate leadership that's necessary, state governments and cities step up. And we had that in Canada as well. Uh, before my arrival in power, we had a more conservative government that did not think that climate leadership mattered. And therefore, our provinces and our cities stepped up big time. Uh, in uh, carrying the ball. And now uh, we understand that we just have to work with everyone we possibly can. And California's consistent leadership matters not just for uh, the weight of the Californian economy and population, but it's an example of how to do things, how to look at climate change as a crisis that needs to be responded to, but also a tremendous opportunity that needs to be invested in and drawn on, not just create good green jobs of the future, but good green careers of the future. And that's what we're focused on in Canada, and that's what you're focused on here. It's so on the future we want to build. Canadians and Californians share so much. Earlier this week, I met with high school students who are studying sustainability, and one of them, Jacinta, asked how she and her friends could be leaders on climate action. My answer to her was, think about what you can do, yes, but mostly think about how you can gather with and mobilize partners to do the same, because we are not going to do it unless you're bringing people along with you. That's exactly what we're doing here today, putting that into action, teaming up. Because today, as we launch a partnership to continue and deepen the work that we've been doing between Canada and California on climate and nature, we're building a team of almost 80 million people. This new partnership will see us work together on everything from protecting nature, driving investment in clean tech, keeping single-use plastic out of our oceans. We're also committed that Canada and California will bring together experts at UN Climate Week to drive progress on wildfires, and, climate and forest resilience. The bottom line is we're delivering what matters to people, clean air and water, good jobs, and a strong future that leaves no one behind. In 2019, 
le Canada et la Californie ont lancé un partenariat initial sur les véhicules zéro émission. On a vu tout ce qu'on peut accomplir en travaillant ensemble. Je pense à des entreprises québécoises, notamment comme Lyon Electric, qu'on connaît très bien au Canada, mais qui s'est maintenant rendu en Californie. Et le gouverneur m'en parlait que, oui, il connaît très bien Lyon Electric du Québec. On a fait équipe une fois de plus sur des mesures climatiques et protection de la nature. Et donc, ensemble, on peut livrer de l'air et de l'eau propre, de bons emplois et un avenir fort. On climate action, the world is watching. Our vision and commitment to working together matters. So, Gavin, thank you for being our partner as we take this historic step. J'ai très hâte de voir tout ce que la, le Canada et la Californie peuvent accomplir ensemble, because we are all of us, not just leadership, but citizens, committed to working together for a brighter future for all. Merci beaucoup, mes amis.